going to be about the weather, it's going to be about the atmosphere, it's going to be about the jet stream, it's going to be about the wind, the water, and the ways of mankind. Okay, cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> it's not see pitches, eh? I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Thor News presents. This is the first time I've really been hanging out with a cat, so there are a bunch of new revelations from the animal and feline district that I'm learning. Like, they're very finicky and picky about their food. If they don't get the food they want, they start to tear shit up and pee on everything. What does that have to do with weather? A lot. But I'll leave it up to you to put it together or get a headache if it confuses you too much. Hello, my name is Thor. I have a YouTube channel. You are on it. I make videos about whatever suits my fancy. And a lot of times, it's the sun, space weather, and earth weather. And so now, at the end of this back tune, wait, what did I just say? Oh yeah, I'm crazy. The cat is crazy. That cat is just running around. Like Speed Racer. I think that cat's moving almost as fast as light. Somebody get a scientist with their speed of light measure. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm talking to you about weather. And we're looking at one thing. Usually I do a lot of really fast editing. Cut out all the mistakes and the boring parts. And I show a lot of images. But that is not going to happen in this video. We're only going to watch this one shot. This repeating loop of the ghost composite rainbow northern hemisphere of our sad. And I say that if you're in the United States or South America. I don't mean to be a jerk. So if I'm being a jerk, I'm just trying to be like your professor... Or the super cool dude sitting on the old chair at the coffee shop. Say, hey, I'm talking about the weather. Be like, you should be serious. Well, I'm dead serious, man. Hey, does this not look weird to you? Look at all this moisture. Look at all this water. Look at all this. This is what is going on. This is the situation. Like, this is crazy. A couple years ago, I went crazy and started a couple clubs. Asteroid Fight Club, where we um fight anything that threatens civilization or mankind as we know it. American Bicycle Club, is where we all learn to be kids again by getting on bicycles and riding around. I think I forgot one. Earth United, where Earth unifies as one earthling family because we got a lot of problems and the uh, last few generations have left us interesting situations to say the least holy crap that guy's got a tail get yourself some hurricane tail if you can man or woman okay if you wanted your broadcast serious and without cuss words tough shit yeah what do you see that one's got a tail too gaston has a tail and some of these have names and then some of these had their names taken away and then some of these had their names rechanged next time i do one of these videos i'll uh, figure out the names of all of our players this is kind of crazy, man. Like, you could say this thing right here is its tail. But then you could say Gaston is part of the mean sea level pressure's tail. Wow. It's like a galaxy. Sunspots and hurricanes. Good galaxies and bad dark energy. Ray gun matter beams shooting into my brain. It's almost September 2016. My channel's gonna get weirder. Do you know what I mean? I'm looking for good people to join in this fight. Wait, it's not... A fight. We just gotta get along tonight. Cause we got things to do. Oh, it's like a smiley face. One eye and a smiley face. That is wonderful. Oh, it looks like a phoenix. So it's like Gaston is a phoenix tail. Holy crud, man. These all have names and numbers and I'm not getting them right because it, it's been confusing and the data is so much. I'll go find out all the names and stuff. But I thought I would show you these pictures because these pictures are fascinating. And whereas at times when I cover space and space agencies, people are like, NASA's fake. Everything NASA shows you is fake. Everything NASA says is a lie. Whereas I agree like 66% of that may, 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 may be true. And it's not necessarily their fault. You have to understand how civilization has progressed over the last 3,000 years or 500 years. I don't want to argue about that semantic shit. What I'm saying here is that shit is crazy. And... When I show my NASA stuff, people are like, you only show artistic renderings, which is not my fault, uh, and it might not even be their fault either. But here we are showing actual data from the actual planet you and I are on. And this data is fascinating. This is like Van Gogh meets Michelangelo meets H.R. Geiger meets George R.R. R. Martin with a dash that is bigger than all of it of J.K. Rowling. Because one of these is Hermione, which is not Hermione. See? I gotta go figure out the names. And if what I'm saying... It ain't making any sense to you. That means you're not even at level two. So keep watching the pictures, bro. Keep watching the pictures. If you're still at level one, you may want to head over to Alex Jones's channel. He'll tell you who to vote for in this big election. It is going to get weirder up until election season. And I don't know the reason. Hey, okay. Does anyone want to talk about Planet Nine? I can take a break. Or maybe I should go get Sage. And we can talk about something much less stressful. Like SETI and alien signals. Hold on. Now the cat's Look at me. What do you want to do, cat? I'll leave it up to you. All right, the cat just looked at Harry Potter, book eight. I'll be back. Against all odds to do another jam about weather and little G-gods. What? It's like mythology and weather and real life combined together right now. I wonder if some crazy shit is going on in the solar system. And I've hung out with y'all before, like in real life, in person. I know a lot of y'all don't seem that impressed or interested in the sun or the planets, which is weird. You know, you're a human being here on Earth in the year 2016, right? And September's like almost tomorrow. 
Man, and you know how doomy Septembers are. Septembers are like hype doom all the way. Where's she going? All right, see that? That is our solar system formation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Saturn's about to move position. Man, that's a good formation. Mind the formation, kids. Dun, dun, dun. All right, talk to you guys soon. <laughs> yes! That is a magic cat. Hi, I'm Thor. I make videos. This video is going to be crazy. It's going to be about the weather. It's going to be about the atmosphere. It's going to be about the jet stream. It's going to be about the wind, the water, and the ways of mankind. Okay, cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> He's not see pictures, eh? I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Thor News presents. This is the first time I've really been hanging out with a cat, so there are a bunch of new revelations from the animal and feline district that I'm learning. Like they're very finicky and picky about their food. If they don't get the food they want, they start to tear shit up and pee on everything. What does this have to do with weather? A lot, but I'll leave it up to you to put it together or get a headache if it confuses you too much. Hello, my name is Thor. I have a YouTube channel. You are on it. I make videos.